Hi, I'm Mike Graham, and this is Lighting Insights. Today, we're going to be talking about choosing the right lens tube for your ovation ellipsoidals. Making this decision is usually it's, it's part science and part art. Typically, you're going to want to choose a smaller beam angle the longer distance you have to shoot. I've brought a few examples up here today. Uh, we have a 19 degree, a 26 degree, and a 36 degree lens tube. These are the most common choices that you would typically see in an installation or on a job site, so let's start there. When you're putting your plot together, the first thing you need to figure out is what beam angles you're going to be using for your ellipsoidals. Knowing your distances of throw is pretty important. Uh, there's online charts that will help you figure out what beam angles are the best for your applications, but I still think that the best way to really figure this out is trial and error. Um, I like to bring a few extra, extra lens tubes onto a job site just so I can figure out what will work best for me when I get there. So we set up some fixtures in our rig. All these fixtures are the same distance away from the floor, so it gives us a good representation of each one of these different beam angles. So let's start out with a 19 degree. The 19 degree lens is great for long distance shots. If you're trying to shoot from your front of house position, say 50 or more feet away from your stage, this is the one that you want to use. This is going to give you the best amount of coverage and still maintain the most amount of light you can get to your stage. If you're shooting a little bit closer up, a 26 degree is your best option. And as you can see, you lose a little bit of intensity, but you do gain some coverage. This is a great fixture for shooting from distances around, let's say, 20 feet, maybe 20 feet to 30 feet. And so you get, again, give you great coverage as well as give you really good representation on your stage. Lastly, the 36 degree lens is great for closer shots. Uh, this is a great lens to use on stage or from side light positions to give you the most amount of coverage and still give you good output on stage. All three of these lenses are also good options for you know, intermixing and, and changing things up. But again, it all depends on your application. Knowing how much light that you need to get onto your stage and where you need to get it is an important part of your design aspect. Experimentation with different lens tubes is going to give you the ability to know how much light you're actually going to get out of your fixtures into any given spot on your stage. Uh, this is important when you're trying to put your set together and put your budgeting together to know how much light you need to get and how many lens tubes you are going to need of a particular beam angle. So when you're choosing your lenses, one thing you want to think about is gobos. If you are going to be using gobos in your set, you have to understand a 19 degree beam angle lens is not going to produce exactly a 19 degree beam angle gobo. So you do want to think about how those sizes are going to change. So this is our 19 degree with a gobo in it. This is our 26 degree with a gobo in it. And as you can see, there is output difference and the size of your gobo is different. Uh, keeping in mind that typically when you are using gobos, you're using that lower intensity and you are trying to cover more space uh, with your gobo image. So adding in the 36 degree, you can see that your coverage is still really good and you do have plenty of output to be able to give yourself that breakup image that you're looking for. So just to recap a little bit, it's always best to have a couple extra lens tubes with you when you're doing load-in. This way you can take a little bit of the science out of it and add a little bit of the art back into it. This is always going to give you your best options and your best way to cover your stage. I'm Mike Graham. Thanks for watching.